What's up guys, welcome back to another video involving the boat build. So today's gonna be part four of the boat build series and we're gonna be installing finally this EVA foam material. So we ended up cleaning the boat floor and we also put up both wiring harness and attached them to the sides. And we got everything prepped and ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and begin laying out the EVA foam and beginning from the back of the boat and moving up forward. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we went ahead and laid down both rolls of the EVA foam. And we noticed that from factory, they did not cut this the same length. So I wish they could have cut this right on the seam. Instead, they cut it for some reason in the middle of this gray part. So we're gonna have to cut along the seams on both sheets and lose a good bit of material. What we realized, we're also gonna need to buy a new roll because we're not gonna have enough to finish the back side of the boat as well as a little portion of the front. So we're gonna have to buy one more sheet, so that will come about two days. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the EVA foam out of the boat and cut it right here along the seams on both sheets, so that way it will be evenly spaced decking material. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the material laid out. I put some weight on the side just to get it more stable for it to not to keep on folding up. Now we're gonna go ahead and knock out these sides. As you can see right here on the camera, it's a lot smaller than it is everywhere else on the it's EVA like foam. So we're gonna cut it off along the seam, as well as whenever we're gonna be joining the two pieces together, we'll be joining it right along that seam, so it'll be a seamless connection. <laughs> Alright, so we got this one all done as well. So now both EVA foam sheets are now evenly spaced. So we're gonna go ahead and take these back to the boat and start laying it out. Alright, so now we're about to find exactly where we want the center point to be, which I'm wanting to join in both sheets of EVA foam right here in the center of the boat. All right, now what I'm gonna do is make a center point along these two materials along the center of the boat. So we'll be able to know where to join in both pieces. So I'm getting this lined up now, right where we made all these center lines. Okay. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm about to unpeel it and stick it on. What I'm doing right now is applying these screws and these holes where the seat goes so that way I can know where they're going. I'm going to screw them in further so basically it's going to make a hole through the material and that way I'll know exactly where the screw is supposed to go. Right, so that way I'll know exactly where the screws are. It'll make a little indentation in the material, so it won't be kind of. Can we use adhesive? Yep. Let's spray a little bit down. Especially on the inner part there. Yeah. So you can see 
exactly where those bolts are protruding out of. That's exactly where I'm gonna be making the slot cuts. So I'm pretty much almost at the end here. I'll cut it not too much, just enough. this material down here and as you can see this carpet kind of starts to turn in this way and I was contemplating either I want to press this up against the carpet but what I'm gonna do actually gonna put it underneath the carpet and cut it along this edge so it will fit neatly underneath so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and knock out now <laughs> So I went ahead and cut the pieces off like you see and I'm gonna just overlay the carpet over this EVA foam and make a nice seam between the two. One more thing I'm gonna need to do, I need to cut this flush as well so I can put it underneath. So I'm probably gonna cut this about halfway again. Right, let's see how this looks now. I think that should be good enough. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish off gluing all this down. Alright, so we got this corner down right here on the left. And now I'm gonna Start lifting this up and putting it under here. We got one sheet down. Let's see how it looks. It's definitely looking, looking good. All right, so just like on the other side, I'm gonna put these screws down for the seat. First, this time. First, this time. Before, I was too happy and excited to start laying down EVA foam, but we're prepared this time. Mm -hmm. All right, I got that done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the EVA foam sheet lined up. All right, so we got the seat bolts bolted down. Now I'm gonna lay. Now I'm gonna lay this foam right here. Sheet number two. And getting it lined up. Main thing is getting this seam to look yeah. good. Let's check out what we got under here. Let's check the seams. It seems so good. The same, same thing as the other side. What I'm gonna do is cut a little bit off this.
So we basically finished the majority of the hole. What we have left is to finish the engine bay compartment on both sides. The rear seat pretty much sits right here. And then this back half is all what's covered underneath the engine bay. But I still want to cover it up with the same EVA foam material. So I'll buy one more roll. That way with that roll, we'll also have enough to finish off these sides. And also a little bit in the front of the boat as well. There's a few more inches left to cover. So yeah, it's looking really good. Before we finish up though, I wanna finish by cutting up this trap door. And then the next clip's gonna be probably a few days later from now when we get the rest of the material and we're gonna knock out the rest of it. So let's go ahead and start knocking out this trap door. So we finished cutting out the hole. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see how this mounts up. So, pretty much like that. We're, like we're contemplating whether to sand this down, spray paint it the same color, spray paint the sides, or we might overlay the same material over here. It might look good as well. We haven't decided yet. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out a way to get these screws out probably cut little x's over the screws and unscrew them and then screw these brackets back in all right so that pretty much sums it up for today but here in a few seconds you're going to see the next day part when we're finishing up uh, the back half of the boat and the front half and the sides so three two one all right guys so we're back a few days later i know that was kind of corny but it's okay so we got two more rolls of foam. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and finish off the rest of the flooring. So we're gonna do this back half first, the engine side of the boat, and then we're gonna start doing the sides. And then we're gonna finish off by doing underneath both uh, center consoles. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is measure out this compartment in the back. Let's see how it's looking. So pretty much 18 and three quarters on this side. In the middle, 18 and three quarters. And the back half. Back half is right at 19. So it seems like it opens up some towards the back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. It's actually perfect right at 19 on this black seam. And this corner piece is cut a little shorter, but it's okay. I'm gonna just line up the lines from the one we installed previously to this one and finish it off and have the shorter piece be connected to this. So let's go ahead and cut off about 19 inches wide and long will be, we'll say, we'll say 41 about 40 and three quarters but i'll just cut it a little extra just in case yeah. so right under 41 inches all right so we'll do 41 by 19. we'll go ahead and cut that off now Alright guys, so I got this piece cut out. It's 19 inches across right here in the back. It's about 18 and 3 quarters, but as you get further back, it kind of dwindles out to 19. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this in and try and align it. So it's pretty much going to be like this. 
It's got a little gap on this side, but I'll just put some strip from this one over on this side. All right. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and do basically the same thing like I did for the seat and put in the screws for this assembly in the back so then I can know exactly where it's supposed to be. All right, so I got the screws in place. Now I can go ahead and begin laying it down. All right, so I got it laid down. The color between the first material that I got between the second one is slightly different, and I read down the reviews. So if you guys do get the same one, be cautious of that. Maybe buy it in one batch so you can have a better chance of getting the same shade of gray. But this one's slightly darker than this one, but it's okay. I made sure to get the main flooring done first before doing the other pieces because this is going to be covered by in the engine bay anyways. Sweet, so we got it all down. Now I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my drill and knife and get those screws out so I can install that drive assembly. All right, got all the screws out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install it back in. Alright, so I got this all installed. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray on some adhesive spray on this tab and fold it over. Alright guys, so I went ahead and cut pretty much the same exact piece, but for this other side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down, but instead of putting the short side on the other on the sidewall side, I'm actually gonna put the longer side, and that's how it's gonna get a more uniform look. I should have done that on that side. That was a mistake I made. That's why I have about half an inch to an inch of space between here, but on the other side. So if I do it like this, it's gonna eliminate that. So let's go ahead and get started. So got the line lined up, now I'm gonna go ahead and start moving the rest. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished this side as well as that side right there. Only thing left to do is just add a very small amount of foam right here as well as right there, but I can do that later on. My main concern right now is going to be these sides and finishing up this side as well as this side right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the stuff and get the material out and start measuring out how much material I need on both sides. I also went ahead and cut this off too. There's also a little hole right here, but I'm just going to leave the EVA foam to cover it a little bit. I just wanted to open it up so I can have some access to the fuel lines if I need to. And of course we got the wife hard at work as you can see, cleaning and detailing all the upholstery. So we'll be ready to put it back in the boat. Alright so I measured out the material that I need, it's about 4 inches right here and it goes a little narrow right here, opens back up and it goes really narrow right there. So pretty much goes from 4 inches down to about 3 inches right here and then opens back up to 4 and goes back down of course underneath that whole carpet and the whole length of it is about seven feet so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut a whole sliver of four inches by seven feet and then I'm just gonna start laying it from the back 
moving on forward and cut where I need to. And whatever else I have, I'm probably going to tuck underneath that carpet like I did earlier on. And of course, we're going to go ahead and replicate the same thing on this side. And I checked as well. It's pretty much the same. About four inches on here in the back. And then it gets more narrow in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the material. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got basically two little pieces cut. I'm going to use the first one to lay down. And I'm going to use the other one and lay down and finish it off. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before finishing off the rest of the trim, I went ahead and put this side bolster on and it looks great actually and you can't even tell that little piece is missing this right here is where the seat of course is going to be so i'm still going to finish off this piece and where the biggest piece is missing but for now that looks great all right guys so i pretty much cut the rest of the eva foam for this side along the contour of this side of the boat so i'm going to go ahead and start placing it down. Alright, so we got it all done. Looks really good. Don't mind this. I'm probably later on going to put something underneath to alleviate that little divot that's on the bolt hole but overall it's looking really good so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the same type of piece for the other side and mimic the same exact thing alright guys so we finally finished everything on the EVA foam so as you guys can see we got the whole floor completely covered we got the sides done I ended up not filming too much of it because it was pretty much just a tedious process, just cutting small pieces and measuring. So I got all that finished, as well as I finished the back in the engine on both sides. Right here where you guys remembered, it was cut up a little bit. So finished that on both sides, also this side bolster area as well. And the only thing I haven't finished, which I'll finish later, is just laying about a few more inches of EVA foam underneath both center consoles. But we're trying to hit the lake tomorrow, so we're trying to finish all of this today, and that won't take too long. I might even knock it out today. But yeah, so next I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of the upholstery, the seats, captain chairs, and everything, and put them all together. And in the next shot, you guys will see the whole product finished. So in about three, two. Alright guys, so we are back the next day. We finally finished the boat EVA foam build. So last night we didn't end up finishing up until about 11, 30, 12 o'clock. We had to put these rear seats back in, put these captain chairs back in, the side bolsters and everything. So we finally got all that finished and situated. The floor is looking amazing as you guys can tell. I think it really, really turned out great. Uh, of course, we already got it slightly dirty, but we just got to clean that up. I know that will probably catch on the video a little bit, but that will be cleaned up, so don't worry. You're the only one that's worried. I know. I know. So, that pretty much finishes up the whole entire EVA foam build. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.